Hi, my name is Miguel Lopez de Leon. I'm the author of several young adult, middle grade, and dark fantasy novels. And today I wanted to talk to you about what it's really like to be an author. What it's really like to be an author. Every author's story is different and every author's experiences are different. I just want to share my experience being an author. It's not right or wrong, it's just my experience. Let's start with the pros. All the great things about being an author. You get to write. And <laughs> I love writing and I get to write and I get to write all day every day. So that's definitely a plus. You also get to make your own hours. You could write as much or as little as you want. You could work as much or as little as you want with consequences to both of those options. You get to create worlds and characters and stories. You get to really be creative and do what you love to do. And I guess it's a pro and a challenge, but you also, whether you want to or not, get exposed to a lot of other aspects of creating products and putting them on the internet that really have nothing to do with writing. So you get exposed to a lot of things to do with marketing, branding, distribution, websites, cover design, social media. If you decide to go on YouTube, everything that goes into having a YouTube channel whether it's learning how to use the equipment, learning how to set up a channel, providing, shooting, editing content, and just a whole world to market and promote your books. I think what is also great about being an author is those moments when readers email you or message you and let you know that your work really made a difference to them and really was a positive part of their life for a quick moment. Whether it was inspiring to them or even just entertaining to them. The story you wrote was an escape. Maybe it inspired them to write. To hear that people like your work and more than that, your work played a positive part in their life is always gratifying to hear. I remember when my first book came out, it became the Galadria Trilogy. But this was book one, Galadria, Peter Huddleston and the Rites of Passage. I was visiting schools at the time. One school I visited before I was about to speak to the class and tell them all about the book and the writing process and all that. The teacher took me aside and she said that one of the students who didn't really speak a lot in class or out of class, he didn't really speak a lot, period. Not for any other reason that other than he was a, a bit shy and a bit reserved, he read the book and she said that he liked it so much that he started participating more in class when they would speak about the book. So he'd say his opinions about the characters and about the journey the characters went on. He related it to his own life and he, basically he just started getting more involved and interacted more with the class and with the other kids. Hearing stories like that, of course, makes you feel good. I met him and he was really nice and he was excited to talk to me about the book and you know, stuff like that really means a lot. Now, what are the challenges of being an author? A lot of people who maybe don't deal with writers or they aren't writers, not all people, but just some, don't quite understand <laughs> what writers do. As crazy as that sounds, you know, we write, but I guess a lot of people think of it as a hobby or in an odd way as a path to get your book to be a movie. What I've experienced is a lot of people, well-meaning people, are like, you're home a lot, you seem to be in front of the computer for too long. It's like, yeah, writing a book, so <laughs> takes a while. And I always sort of remind them, it's like, well, it's like when you go to the office or when you go to your work and you're there all day, it's, it's the same thing. I'm here doing my work and I'm working all day as well. So it's sort of, it's the same thing. And I know that sounds simple, but a lot of people don't seem to get that. Of course, like with any industry, when you put things online, sometimes you get people who aren't so nice. And, and I'm not talking about people who give critical reviews, who really give you well thought out feedback. I think that's great because a lot of times you learn and you grow from that feedback. I'm talking about haters. Any job that you go into, 
that is somewhat public, somewhat online. Unfortunately, it's just part of the job. Nobody likes negative comments and things like that, but it's to be expected. How do I handle that? Again, if it's constructive criticism, then I listen. And if you hear it from enough people enough times, you take it seriously because that's, that's your readers telling you uh, things they noticed or things that maybe I've missed. And I take that seriously and I'm so appreciative, but that's a world away from people just sort of being negative. I just sort of ignore it. Not as easy as it sounds, but don't give those people any energy or time whatsoever. Focus on the people who are enjoying your book. Learn if there is anything to learn from the critical responses. Learn from that. Take what you can from that. See if there's anything useful in that. That may be true. It might be a hard message to hear, but it might be really good feedback wrapped in a not pleasant package. And I guess the most rewarding thing being an author is to really be able to tell the stories that I want to tell. There just seems to be a constant stream of distraction and to be able to sort of cut through all that and tell a story that you feel is important and is maybe something that other people can benefit from in some way and to do it in the way that you'd like to do it and handle the topics the way you'd like to handle them I find that very fulfilling to then get feedback that people do appreciate it and they do like it it was a positive moment in their lives to read your book that's immensely gratifying being able to have a voice in that capacity is one of the most rewarding things about being an author so I hope this helped Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you later.